Hello everyone, and I'm going to show you how to make a Lila Lipsy dress. Alrighty then. Um, one second guys. Oh, found it. I'm going to show you how to make a Lila Lipsy dress just like this one. Well, this is just to show you. Well, this is a Lila Lipsy dress. So, I'll just put it on for you to show you. This is the one where I did be just before this video. To make sure the style is, you know, good. For example, it stays on perfectly. And, yeah. Little button at the back. Do, 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 do. And as much shaking as possible. It's there on it real tight and it won't come off. So that's a good thing. So, I'll just do that. Voila. Right. But this side. Before I start doing it, I want to give a few shout outs. Let me just get this pig out. If I miss you off, I'm sorry. And if you've commented, I'm really sorry. I'll do another video with you. So I want to give a few shout outs to La, La Loopsy124, Cool Dudes at 3000. The Loopsy Eve, I think it is, 2,122, and Loopsy 15. Yeah. Shout out. That face. That face. And I drew a little picture for you guys. Like a little thing there. And a little star. Yeah. Hope you liked it. <laughs> so, those are my shout outs. Right, and I'm going to show you how to make a Lala Loopsy dress. Just move my notebook out of the way. So, I'm going to make one for Blossom Flower Pot. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do it for Blossom Flower Pot. I'm just going to do one because it's just a doll. And it, was a, it was the only one who goes upstairs with me. So, you can get some... So, just get some material. Um, I usually use felt because it's easiest. But, you know what I mean? Like cutting... But you can use just old tops and stuff like that. Old bibs. Yeah. <laughs> and just cut it all down to size and it's perfect. Right then. Um, so, I'm going to make, start making it. So, you will need a ruler. Let me just... Uh, wait a minute guys, I'm sorry. I keep on... Eh, where's that dress? What I just did. Hmm. Right, I thought I had to use another one. Oh yeah, it's here. Right then. With this. This. Let's see how measure this is. And there's a ruler here. Right then. It's about 15.5 centimeters along. So, yeah, I just use this always because it's the right size. So, get you need some scissors, careful, sharp, and make sure the fabric is because they won't cut and it gets you really stressed. So, just start, just move it so you can see it, and start cutting. And just see it, if it's still on, yeah, and just keep on cutting. Right then. Now, you need some decoration. Oh, yeah. First, you need to make sure that um, it's straight. If you can't do it straight, it doesn't really matter. It's original <laughs> from you. Put these bits inside here. Like that. That's near about, you know, straight. So now you need to put a 
balance on. I've got loads and loads of balance. So I am going to use a nice blue one. This is going to be from Marina. This, I think, look nice. And then this beautiful button here inside. So I, I usually use thread because it's easier than gluing it on because you can't hardly do it. I once tried it and it doesn't look very good. There. Let me just sew this on. It might take a while guys. So while I do this, you guys can just listen to your music or something like that. Because I can't really skip it because I don't have that feature. So however you guys do it. Or you could just watch me. Thread. It's kind of boring basically. So it might be a while. Um, right, just do one more and then I'm done. There. I think that it's pretty sewn on tight. Right, just knot it. How to knot it, you just make a little thread. Just like you're sewing. And as you're pulling, that little loop there, just stick it in, then do it and pull tight and then there's a knot. I do it double, just in case if it doesn't work real good. Double knot, loop, there. Done. Well, you have got your button done. Um, then just snip it off because it's knotted. It's not gonna come out. Just snip it. Yeah. And there you have it. Uh, you have your first part of the t-shirt. Right. Just make sure that it caps all around. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, it's perfect. Right then, you're gonna need a hole, aren't you? So, last strip. Right, um, just a bit. Make sure it's enough. There, to fit it around, just make sure. Just try. There you have your t shirt. Now, it's a bit blank. If you want it just like that, it's totally up to you. But I'm going to put some decorations on it. Um, here I've got some loads and loads of decorations. What I use a lot. Got some but nice, my face says loads of decorations. Let me just... No, I won't show you because it's kind of junk. Um, so, for different... For a bit, a bit different, I'm going to use my stencils and draw some stuff on it so I'm going to draw a, a what should I draw I'm going to draw a beach ball so make sure it's right I'm going to draw a beach ball well not draw it but you know what I mean use that Where's my felts? I'll use these felts because these are the best. What colour should I have? I'll have a red one. Oops, I just drawn on the stencils. Oops. Clean that later. I haven't used. I didn't even know I had some stencils. I have just found them, so I'll be doing lots and lots more videos of them. In there, I'm gonna do orange. I don't think yellow will show up, but I'm gonna try. This is not gonna look very good, but anyways. Uh, doesn't even look like a beach ball, but yeah. 
think it looks like a beach ball. I'm gonna add a bit of more beach ball thing to it. Make it more rounded. Yeah, it looks kind of like a beach ball, if you think about it. Kind of. I don't know. Um, thanks for watching. All right then. Let's do the test. I right, did. Um, what some people do, they make them just like that. Oh, I have got these string. What's absolutely loads around it, and you just sew some on there, and you can do it at the back. But I will do that. Well, I do, but not with this one. Put it in way. So let's see if it fits. So thanks for watching guys. See ya. Hope you like the new dress from Marina Anchors. See ya.